We all fall victim to believing what we want to believe and ignoring the evidence. But the truth is seldom as stark as we want it to be. At this time, when this country has groups of people, tribes of people siloing themselves off and only listening to the politicians or the news media, and in some cases, the members of their family or their friends with whom they agree, I urge you to resist the temptation to subject yourself only to that which reaffirms what you already think. Use the critical thinking skills you just spent four years developing. I urge you to read the story. I urge you to think for yourself. I urge you to click the link. Being callous or being mean can sometimes seem like a way to project confidence. But what it really does is convey to people who know better the exact opposite. The shock of cruelty can be amusing when you're in your teens or your 20s. You get older and you realize that the hard-hearted are compensating for an emptiness. Choose not to take that path. I realize that the nation right now is not exactly getting a crash course in exemplary behavior. I realize that we're in a time when nastiness and mockery and meanness sometimes seem as if they're spreading like a contagion. But when the indecent becomes commonplace, is not the time for good people like you to follow suit. Because you know what? Mean is easy. Mean is lazy. Mean is self-satisfied and slothful. You know what takes effort? Being kind, being patient, being respectful, telling someone how you feel politely, instead of just avoiding them for six weeks. That's the stuff of adulthood and truly of adventure because when you rise to the moment to embrace the humanity of everyone, you give yourself a chance to grow and achieve a strength of character. We're in a moment where humanity and decency are being eroded, where basic systems and law and justice are under attack, where the very notion of empirical fact is being attacked and corroded. Avoid the masses. Love what you do. Love who you are. Be nice to each other. Embrace the humanity of everyone, especially those you don't understand. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you for this honor. God bless you. God bless your parents. God bless the University of Massachusetts and the great Commonwealth. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you.